welcome back to our new video on Wireflow CMS in the last video we have successfully created our blog post and categories and tax collections now in this video what we will do we will bring all these beautiful collections to our page our blog page right so this is my home page but what you can do you can create a page here let's say a blog right this is my blog page what I will do now I will create just this page now great so I have nothing here right okay so now you are on this page right this blog page and I want you to add a section by hitting control on PC and command on Mac E control E and add a section okay your section has been added now add a container so our blog post stays inside this container so now great so once you have added this to section and container now your job is to add a collection list where you can find that click on this add icon this add elements and just scroll down until you see this collection list just drag this and drop on this container great so now it's not showing anything but you need to select your CMS by clicking this source and just select your blog post so these are your post all the posts that you have created in your collection now great so we have our post here let's add some padding to this section so that it looks good right okay now we have our post here but it looks not good right not looking good so now just click on this collection list wrapper right so what you get in this collection list you have a wrapper which has the list and the items items are your blog post and it is under your list right the list contains all of your items so click on this collection list wrapper and go to this settings element settings here you can change the layout from here if you look at it is fully width right full width now I want my blog post to be 2 by 2 columns great I have my blog post in 2 by 2 columns now what I want to do is I want to add here a link block so people can or the my users can click on that link so that they go and read my blog post so inside this link block I want an image All right so did you see that if you put anything here it will affect to all other your collections items right so now so you can choose your image to get your image that you have in your blog post right like this this image so what you can do is you either you can click here on your image and click on this setting or just select your image and from here on the right sidebar in the element settings you can see this get image from blog post select field we want our main image great all of our main image will start displaying here great so now we have added our image right so now what we want we want a heading of our blog post so now let's add a heading here now let's use the text select the name of your blog post see this is how it's looking right it's not looking good right <laughs> you can understand but what we can do here let's use this h3 this is looking much better now we can just uh, lay out this letter don't worry about it great so now we have all these things let's say if we have a summary post summary that we don't have if you had then you can show it here just like we have created 
for blog post a uh, collection just add a collection uh, name at uh, this field name custom field name blog post summary right then you can just show it here great so post are showing here right so now what I want to do is I want to show all my categories here on top of my block collection list so what I will do now I will just simply add a collection list okay the list let's drag and drop put it on top select a source called categories okay now we have only tag and design so that's why it's showing two here what I want is let's add this category let's add a heading of heading 5 or the 4 let's use 4 it looks much better now let's select a text for our category name see our names are there now let's put this under this link block you can use text links if you want I will use this link block so it stays under that okay good so now I want my block categories to be here in the center so what I will do select collection list right and I will use flex box so it stays side by side because it's uh, set to horizontal now I want them into center good they are in center right so I will select this block I'm just a cat name what I will do I will just put 10 or 20 let's change it for this one also okay it's done now I want to change this arrows let's use this black or let's use this red or let's use this green right <laughs> so I'm just using the random color so don't worry let's give it your collection list right so I'll just give a random numbers the padding so these are your block categories right you can put a heading saying your categories but it's fine if you don't want to these are your categories now so you have your categories here and your blog post here right so now what I want is I want to show tags which are connected with this blog post right or what I can do is I can show a category name which is connected with this blog post let's use that one we can't use a text link again because we have already used the link block so let's use this text block right or let's use this hmm, collection list right but we can't use that one so what I will do is I will simply remove the uh, remove that blog post okay just remove that one don't worry about it just add a link block here and put that heading inside link block for now right okay good so now we have that so now we want to put another text link here because I want to show a link which is connected with this blog post right so click on that link go to your element settings now just select this collection page when user click on this particular link of your tag I, I want to send them to the collection page right so now you will see the reference great Good, right so now use the category name right so I use the reference page reference category and the name right whenever user clicks on this tag they will be redirect on the tag page where we will show only post which are related to tags tag category right good so now we have these so let's add some 
CSS to it. Let's make it say 28. Let's put some margin bottom to this image. I'm not giving a proper class names here, but it's fine for now. For learning purpose, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's use the zero. Good, zero is not fine. Let's add five. Good. So now we have our blog post category, right? Which is attached to this blog post. Great. So what if you only want to show five blog posts on your page? Right? So you want a pagination. So what you can do for that, just select your blog collection list wrapper. Go to here in this. You can also paginate items, right? Like this, you just click here. If you look at here, see the next button shows up here, right? But I don't want that. I just want to show only, show only five. So, so you can count one, two, three, four, five blog posts on my page. So this is how you can use these limit items in Webflow to limit your collection items right it starts from one if you have one I want it to be start from first second right but let it be from one and one more thing I want to show my blog latest blog post that's why it's here what if you want to show the older one the first blog post just go to your sort order now just show not that one created on right oldest to newest right so it will change see it will change so this is how you can use this uh, sort of the thing you can play with all of these to learn more right okay good so now we have this post here what I want is let's use this collection item and add some bottom margin so that it looks good let's add some let's add 40 right so i have added 40 margins for this blog post great so now we have our blog post ready but i also want this blog post on my tag category right so go to your categories template here just paste that that i copy pasted from our blog page so here uh, we can only show let's say let's uh, say a heading you want to show uh, we can give it a name let's add it in the center just remove this tag I, we don't want that anymore now what I want to do is I want to give it a name particular category name the heading right so when a user are in this categories so they can see okay which category they are in so let's give it a name design they are in the design category but you can change it from here see if you're in a tag it will show tag good so now on this page i want to show only those posts which are related to tag category so what i will do is i, I will just remove this limit item because i want to show all the post here and I will add this filter click on this filter and what I want is I want to show all the category which is equals or does see these are the uh, parameters that you can use which is set is set is not set or is equal it's equal to the current category current category is which category the tag category right so you can use this design or the tag that you want but what I will do I will use current category so let's do that okay now we have only one post because we have only one post connected with the tag category here as you can see in our CMS right that first one let's add this one also design oh no 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 sorry let's use figma okay good let's use two add only four let's use this tag tag let's use webflow only webflow because we love webflow okay the fourth one let's use it as a design let's use adobe xd fine the 
fourth one is fine so now when you go to your category collection page you will see two posts there already <laughs> so this is the magic of airflow right you it saves your time and it gives you a lot more in a minimal time right good so now you have to blog post here right which is which are targeted now if you go to design you will see these one right which has a title also so okay let's just change this because because it's not looking good so what i will do in order to make this on top and bottom i will just add a div block here and inside the div block i will add this two links here that and i will add make it a flex box and set it as vertical so that it looks good now this is looking good right so now great so we have our categories page ready but we want our tags page it works the same way it's categories right so what i will do i will just copy paste that category template and our collection is we filter using current right okay okay, okay, okay good okay, sorry i missed it let's just use don't worry don't worry just use let's go to a blog page i don't want to make changes any changes there let's come here just copy this section go to your text template just paste it here and i want just select this one well, let's delete this we don't want that just select this and add a filter let's remove these limit items add a filter which we can show a tax contains current tax wordpress because we haven't i i don't think so we have used wordpress in any one right so let's use adobe xd okay great so now we have one post which is connected to adobe xd now let's use figma i think we do we have two post oh okay only one post let's use webflow webflow has two post okay good so this is how you can use tags and categories in webflow to show your a post in particular categories or the tags related your post so great so in the next video what we will learn and what we will do is we will create a blog detail page where we can show our actual blog post and we can show so the tags that we have created so see you in the next one guys